The next phase of science's biggest prize beckons. Construction of 133 radio telescopes will start early next year. We've got Meerkat, which is existing 64 disarray, and Meerkat will then incrementally be integrated into the SKA mid telescope. So at the end of the day, um, we will have 197 dishes operating for the mid telescope. The SKA's precursor, the Meerkat, is already proving its worth, unlocking secrets in deep space. We've um, been mapping the center of the Milky Way. Um, there's the discovery of two new galaxies, which is extremely exciting for the scientists. Um, in South Africa but across the world as well um, and there's also these intergalactic balloons that they've discovered um, hundreds of light years away. The next phase of the SKA is expected to open doors for locals. Young people from the area are already benefiting from bursaries that give them careers at the SKA. At the end of 2017 when the HERA project started um, I actually applied there, I got the job and since then I'm in charge of the fibre. So to also excite, you know, young kids at school about what science does and the importance of science, hoping that we'll be able to train and recruit future science uh, for that. So this is all very important. And in addition to that, also small business consciously, the plan is that they must be involved so that they are also able to benefit. The SKA will probe space for answers for the next half a century, looking at black holes, the Milky Way and remnants from the Big Bang. The project is expected to provide answers to many huge scientific questions, including if we are alone in the universe. The 133 telescopes will be added over the next five years. And with the discoveries of the 64 Mirka telescopes already blowing scientists' minds, they are salivating at the thought of the discoveries the two, nearly 200 telescopes will bring. Ulrich Hendricks, SBC News, at the SKA site near Knaven in the Northern Cape.